Had to get up early. Come off light. Good night. Fine, Louis. Mm -hmm. something about plane etiquette okay when you're on a plane do not be on earth garden because we really close and just think hold hold it the whole four two hours however long we're on the plane hold it like that's the only thing that was annoying on my ride here but everything else has been all right so i'm excited i see y'all soon I'm finally in Puerto Rico with me, Padre. Say hola, papi. Hola. <laughs> well, we're about to go get something to eat. And yeah, the place that we're staying at, um, it's like literally right by the beach. Oops. You're in two minutes, Carlos. Okay, Carlos is going to be here in dos minutes. and Spanish is, good, is a white mazo. Okay. But yeah, you know. Little daddy daughter situation. I'll check back in with y'all later once um we get to where we're going. Alright, bye. Got to the hotel. Go, 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 go look, look down there. Go look. look I can go look. That's that's for the. Uh, yeah, you gonna let me go look. That's where the beach is. Yeah, okay, go I gotta look at the beach. Yeah, it's so it's so nice out here. The weather is so perfect. Oh, I'm happy. This is my happy place. <laughs> Okay. Ugh. I can honestly be out here forever. But my dad is waiting for me. You know, moments like this, times like this, I just I just be wanting to really sit and just be thankful and grateful for everything that is going well in my life. You know, sometimes you really truly have to like be like the shit, the stuff you be tripping off of. It ain't even, it ain't even that big a deal. So, oh yeah, look. Uh, back in uh, 2016. Oh, this is a minute ago. Okay. Yeah, we just sitting by the pool. It's a really nice night. Like, it's super nice. Ooh, excuse my bingy beans. 
We ain't worried about that. We ain't worried about that at all. Because guess what? At least she has edges. Mm -hmm. About to catch a Uber back um, to the Airbnb. It was really nice. I enjoyed myself. But I'm tired, y'all. I've been up since 2 in the morning. Dad, you know I've been up since Victor. 2 Victor. He's going to oh, wipe me some. Okay, Dad, you know I've been up since 2 in the morning. Mm. I've been up since 2 in the morning. I'm tired. We both tired. <laughs> um, yeah, and then tomorrow's going to be pretty eventful, too. We're going to go to the beach to watch the sunrise. If that's what you still want to do. That's fine. <laughs> and um, I'm going on a tour. So that should be fun. And then, you know, come back and probably do it all over again. Go to the beach. Da -da 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 -da. Just do it all over again. This is, just a, this is more so a very relaxation type of situation with me and my dad. So that's what's about to be happening. Ain't no clubbing. Ain't no all that. You know, we just relaxing. Is this a car? That's a Honda. Oh, okay. The Nissan. But okay, guys. I know today has not been like a whole bunch of stuff going on, but that's all right. I'm in Puerto Rico. That's right. Okay. Mm -hmm. We'll kick it tomorrow, and then we're gonna do something very nice for our Thanksgiving together. Que pasa? <laughs> all right good night see you what see y'all when we Two get minutes. okay see y'all when we get to the airbnb morning mm. Mm. good morning about to head out soon to go to my tour of beautiful puerto rico and it's like my tour, I wanted to do something a little bit more different. Um, I want to see a lot of natural beauty of the island. So I'm going to be going to a waterfall, a couple of the forts, cave, um, and like local spots to eat. So it should be really fun. And I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm ready to see what it's all about. Last night I slept pretty good. I slept pretty good, Pop. Okay. Oh, yeah. of uh, the Taino Indian, which was the indigenous people, the Spanish when they came in, and then later on the, the African slave, which was introduced during the building of the fort. Through the building of the forts, the whole mixture that is the Puerto Rican culture today yeah. came together because they needed demand uh, for, for all this building that they were trying to do in this new rich port, which that's what they called the island, Puerto Rico. So Puerto Rico means literally rich port. The whole area surrounding San Juan and the airport, the whole area, everybody mm -hmm. calls San Juan, that's where most of the people uh, live in the, in the metropolitan. And yeah, the rest of the island is more scattered out. There's obviously less traffic, more chilled back uh, lifestyle, but right here we're in the middle of the, the, the city life of the metropolitan. Yes, a hundred thousand people moved out. Yeah, yeah, I like to make a joke where like when the early 1900s we were uh, We've been colonized a lot, whatever. We were colonized by the Spanish, we were colonized by the US, whatever in the early 1900s and then after the storm we colonized Florida and, uh, <laughs> and this brings us to our first stop Here we have 
our beautiful Capitol building, coated entirely in marble stone. It's about to turn 100 years old. Something really unique about this cattle building is that it's facing the ocean, the Atlantic Ocean right here. Most Capitol buildings are inland in the middle of the city, uh, mostly. So that's something unique about it. There you can see all those shields. Each one of them represents one of those towns I was talking about where there's 78 mayors. So that's each one of those towns. But if you guys want, we can get off and take pictures. <music> president that has stepped foot in Puerto Rico or contributed in Puerto Rican soil, you see a monument. They wanted to see what these Spanish people were about and if they were gods or not, because since they had armor and fancy stuff like horses to them, they were gods and ships. So one of them was drowned. And history says that after this uh, guy was drowned, the Tainos finally got the courage to start battle against the Spanish. You know how the Taino Indians literally went against the Spanish with bows and arrows, which didn't even have sharp points because here in PR we'd have nothing to hunt. They were just good with their arrows. The male Taino was basically pushed to borderline extinction, forcing the demand for more man work. And Portuguese people, they started a slave route from uh, Portugal, Africa, and they started bringing in African slaves. This oh, was yeah. a good source of protein for them. It's way easier Ooh. to be a snail farmer Delicious. than a Delicious. chicken farmer. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, branch that's growing on top of the tree, it actually nourishes it. Through mm -hmm. the roots that it's growing into the tree, it feeds it the energy that it also uh, captures from the sun. So that's why it's a symbiotic relationship because it won't, it won't hurt the tree. It actually helps it. And, and they both help each other. It gets sun and then it, it feeds the, the tree with it. Thank you. 